Let's see how AI can automate your workflow. We are going to use here an 8 and AI tool. So here we go. So first of all, click on the get started. You need to fill your information and the email ID and then just create account. So once you sign up, go to the login. Let me just log in. So you can see this is the dashboard. In the left side, you will find the overview option and you can see the personal, my project and admin panel and templates. In the right side, you will find the create workflow and here you can see this is from a start from a scratch you can use the template or you can start from scratch so we are going to start it from scratch so click on it now first of all i'm going to create here one simple chatbot workflow once you click on it you can see you have a lot of options like trigger manually on app event or on SiteQL. so what i'm going to do here whenever someone send me a message so that all the trigger should execute so in the bottom, you will see the on chat, run the flow when a user send a chat message, okay, for a user with AI nodes. So let's click on it. Done. Now you can make that chat bot public. So anyone can access it like this, make it public and you will get that URL. So anyone can access your chat bot. Now I'm going to just go to the back to canvas. So you can see the button, click on it. Now we have that chat bot here. You can move it anywhere. Now. You can see the bottom, click on open chat. And when you send a message, okay, suppose hello. Node executed successfully, but what we should do next? So in the next, I'm going to add one AI agent and that AI agent do some task. So how we can do this? Let's click on the plus icon. And you can see the advanced AI. Just select this. And you can use here the AI agent. Let's open this. And you can see the prompt user. You can see that's the JSON, JSON input. So whatever the chat I send on the chat bot, suppose hi, hello or anything, that AI agent will receive that chat. As you can see, prompt user messages, JSON chat input and just go back. You can see you have this. Now, you will get some error like you can see no node connected. So it's okay, just save it first. And what I'll do, I'm going to use here the chat module. Okay, so this is the AI agent. So that how that AI agent will work. That have a three functions like a chat mod, memory, and tool. So I'm gonna use here the chat model. Chat model is something we need to connect one AI tool that can get a response from our message, okay, and read it and reply accordingly. So I'm gonna use the chat model. Click on it, and you can see you have a lot of Azure, AWS, DeepSeek. There are a lot of models, but the Xamarin is free of cost. That's why we are gonna use here the Xamarin chat model. Click on it. Now, we need to set a credential for that. So what I'll do, click on the create credential and you can see you need to use the API key. So open the new tab and just type here aistudio.google.com. Okay. And click on the get API and it's scrolled on. You will see the default API key. Just click on that API key, copy this, go here and paste it. Then, and just click on save. That's it. It's simple. Then, now let's just cross it and go back to chat. But make sure, make sure before go, you can see the model. It that selected a Xamini Pro by default, but we don't have a Xamini Pro. We have a free Xamini. So I'm gonna use here the, another model is like I'm gonna use the Flash model. This is also a free model. Okay. Let's go back to Canvas. You can use more model here. Okay. Then now what will happen here? Whenever we send a message. AA agent will check that. AA agent will pass that message to Xamini and will get a response. Let's try this. Now let's say something. Okay. So suppose like, hello, how are you? Something. Okay. And let's send it. And now you can see chatbot receive. AA agent received that message. That AA agent sent that message to Xamini. We got a response and we have, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, how are you today? So this is really amazing. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just say here my name. Okay, so my name is DCB. Okay, and just enter. And as you can see here, like, it's nice to meet you DCB. Uh, is there anything that I can help you with this? So what I'll say, what is my name? Let me just ask. And you can see, I do not have access to personal information. It means they don't have uh, any, any model to add memory. Okay, so now I'm going to do one memory add-on model so that can save our information so click on that plus icon and use the simple memory it's free and go back to canvas now we have a memory okay so suppose let's say again my name is pcb 
and enter. And you can see all models run and that is stored the memory also is name. Okay. Let's suppose ask what is my name? Your name is TCB. That's really fantastic. So now we have a memory also to save our information. So this is the simple AI agent. Okay. Next, you can do one more thing like, you know, if you want to add the tool here, you can see that there is a tool option also. Just click on this. And if you want to send the message to someone, so we can use here the Gmail also. Just search Gmail, just Gmail tool. And you just need to select the information. Make sure to create a credential. You don't need to, you know, create a, a console account in Google. You just need to use your Gmail ID to sign in. Create a credential. You can see sign in with Google. Select your Gmail account. Make sure allow access to and 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 connect successfully. That's it. This is it. So this is really easy. Now, once you close this, and as you can see here, you have the option of like operation is like send, delete, get many. So using this model, you can send email to anyone. You can receive an email so you can read that email. You can do a lot of things with this model. So there are a lot of things you can do with this and and model. In the next video, we will learn about how we can do a lot more tasks in automate mode. And you can comment on the video which task you want me to automate with this tool. So I'm going to create that video on that. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.